Hi viewers, the channel off to news. Today we will talk about hydropower. What is hydropower? How is it generated? And why is it so important? These questions and more will be answered right after this. Hi there, I'm Olivia Abernacki, and I'm hiring people to help build a dam. Now, building a dam with turbines can be very hard, but don't worry. It will benefit me. <laughs> I mean the community greatly. If you get hurt or something, I don't have to pay you for the damage. For every flaw, I'll take away $5. Just five. Ten dollars an hour. Yeah, you know, my last coworker was checking the dam for flaws, and he had a little bit of an accident. He fell right in the raging river and got swept away into the rapids. <laughs> it's too bad, but when you come to work, I'll sure you'll have better luck. <laughs> Okay, now for the big question. What is hydropower? Well, unlike fossil fuels, hydropower is renewable. You probably noticed the root hydro. It's a Caesar's English. It, hydro means water. Well, did you know that water can be used to generate energy? Well, all it takes is a river, a strong dam, and turbines. The turbines are spun by the water as it moves through the dam and the system can generate different amounts of electricity. Well, but it, it depends on the strength of the current, the amount of electricity it generates. But if it's strong, it can spin the turbines faster, which will generate more electricity. Uh, let me see. Okay, now here's a question. What are we using now? Okay, well, currently we use mostly the, we mostly use energy sources like oil and coal, fossil fuels. Uh, but they are mined, cleaned, and burned to power a generator. It's very efficient, and uh, it can give a lot of energy output. But unfortunately, there is a limited amount in, in the world, and it actually pollutes the atmosphere. This is a big problem, and it contributes a lot to climate change. And so we can really afford to lose any more of this. So. But fortunately, it's not too late. We still have time to conserve what we have left and switch to renewable energies like hydropower. Now, why is it so important to use renewable energy sources? Well, renewable energy sources are infinite and abundant, and we need to use them more because there's plenty of it to spare. Uh, but non-renewable sources like coal and oil may be efficient now, but they will be useless in the long run. In a few hundred years, at the rate we use it now, there won't be any of it left. And we won't be prepared to switch to the renewable energy sources because it takes time to set them up. Hello there. Hello. Hello. Do you know how hydropower is very efficient? Well, those people are telling you lies. This is Conspiracy Theories 101. This is Henry Jamingson. And today, for starters, hydropower can get very expensive when it comes to actually building the dam. And then you have to get the turbines, all the parts, and you have to hire the workers, and you actually have to get access to a river by the property. It's And you're also disturbing the wildlife. This is why hydropower is bad. Uh, support Conspiracy Theories 101 by donating life insurance. I'm sure you'll find it in your hearts to pledge, say, $100,000. Hello, we are now back on Channel Austin News, and, well, today we're going to talk about some pros for hydropower. Well, first of all, it's completely safe, and you can generate it almost anywhere as long as there's flowing water. It also doesn't pollute, which helps the environment, too. It is abundant and renewable energy source. And finally, it's fairly easy to set up if you have the proper equipment and funds. How we can help? Well, to start, Supporting hydropower, well, we need to donate to dam construction and power plants. Or when voting time comes, you can put your votes for people who have the means necessary to set up more hydro plants and more renewable energy sources that, for the power grids. And we can also save our electricity. A lot of the electricity we use comes from fossil fuels. Well, you can do small things to save energy, like turning off lights when we're not in the room or unplugging devices that are fully charged. It can make a big difference in the long run. Even the smallest and simplest actions can add up, for the better or for worse. Thank you for tuning in for Channel Watch the News. Uh, thank you uh, for your time. 
And uh, that's all for today. See you next time. Goodbye.